Okay, so I have a couple things I wanted to talk about. Um, yesterday, I, or last night, I drove the kids home. Well, not home. I met their dad partway. And um, the weather, I want to talk about that. And also, um, somebody had told me something about them being a good um, listener. And it just totally, like, I had this whole mind expansion thought of it. And I wanted to share about that. So, um, I'm going to do it in two different ones though, but the weather thing. Okay. So all the way back to when it was supposed to be that place where they put their hands on the Bibles and, um, they swear, oh, they swear even on an upside down Bible, they swear they're going to be the best for us and stuff. And, um, so when that happened, everybody was expecting like, oh, this is it. Everyone's going to be arrested. You know, they're so criminal. And when it didn't happen, so many people were so bummed out. And um, I started hearing a lot about leaks of um, the reason there was an arrest was because there was supposed to be a big false flag event that was going to kill a massive amount of people. So they had to um, stop. Although I did hear there was a lot of arrests. But it wasn't the spectacle that we were all hoping. <laughs> like, I tuned in just because I was like, oh, the helicopters are dropping. And, uh, you know, when that didn't happen, it was like, oh, my God, this is so depressing. Um, but anyways, so the false flag event I heard was supposed to be they were trying to set off a volcano up here where I am. So we were the main target. So um, and then also I heard there was one in California. I don't know what they were doing there. But here, so many people have been complaining. I think this is crooked. So sorry if it's like, I'm, I'm crooked on everything. <laughs> I'm sitting out there like laying out with my daughter. We're laying out. Um, I live in the forest, but we have this one patch where there's a place that the sun comes in for like an hour a day. I'm sitting out there. I'm so crooked. <laughs> like, oh my God, I'm just crooked. Um, so anyways, but I have one of those things on the back of my um, you know, so you can hang your phone up for navigation and, um, so it doesn't make it exactly in the middle. So anyways, if it's crooked, sorry. Um, so they were going to do this false flag and kill all these people and the people around here, nobody, nobody knows shit around here. Nobody knows a damn thing. They don't look into anything. They're just happy with the simple life and they just don't care. Um, so the, um, but around here, people have been talking and talking about all the explosions and people were like, what's going on? Why are these explosions underground and stuff? And we're not in an air traffic place, you know, and there's be helicopters, helicopters going and going. And, um, so you can kind of know when something's going on. Like the other week when I drove across the state and I said there was just cops every couple of miles, I couldn't even believe it. I've driven across the state several times and not seen a cop. And there's just like everywhere. There was a helicopters going around. Yeah, so something, you know, when you have awareness, you know something's going on. And um, so, you know, we they wanted to target us. I mean, they already burned down Seattle. And um, they want to do more for some reason. I think because they get like... Uh, more leniency maybe with some of the certain leaders that are on their side. They don't have as much uh, stuff to fight maybe. So, you know, Inslee's uh, super bad. He's, um, I understand he's uh, an in-law. I think he's married to Gates' sister or something. I mean, this is like the most incestual bunch of people. They're all just this little oh, having sex with each other. And, oh, go find some little children. Let's do that too. It's like, oh my God, these people are so sick. And um, anyway, so the false flag thing. So and now we're being hit so hard with the weather. Oh my God. And it drives me crazy because you cannot. When you have all people who have no awareness, they have no idea the, the weather manipulation. They have no idea anything. <laughs> They think all oh, this is real. Oh, well, this is real. This is real life. Oh, we got real problems around here. We got to save ourselves. Oh. oh, my God. 
idiotic. Ugh. But they're trying to make that movie. I told you, idiot idiocracy. You know, where everybody's just sitting around on their garbage like a bunch of morons and they're too ignorant to do anything because we go to their schools. That's the plan. Um, so anyways, the, uh, we all of a sudden got these alerts that we are under a uh, weather, uh, a weather alert, um, you know, crisis for the next first, it was saying five days from Friday night to Monday morning or something <laughs> or whatever. However they had it, it was like that. And then they switched it. And now it is like here at my house, it's a few days, but it keeps changing. Um, but over in Spokane and Yakima and the, the Yakima is like the middle. Spokane is the other coast because West Coast is Seattle. Then you have a, a, a lot of uh, Washington in the middle is just farms. <clears throat> and the landscapes change all over. We've got so many different landscapes in Washington State. It's crazy. But anyways, so it's going to be 115 it kept going up because at first it started out, it was like, I mean, 104. And I was like, oh my God, 104. I mean, that's just not, this is Washington State. We're right at the border of Canada. And um, so then it switched and it started being 110, 115, uh, 109 in Spokane. It's just solid. It go in the whole, like when you go on the weather thing, you know, and it shows you like nine or 10 days. It is all like 109, 108, 107, 100. 111 and shit like that. And, you know, people die in high temperatures. I saw on next door, some guy was asking if anyone had a tent he could borrow because his house is so hot. He has no air conditioner. And, you know, there is some houses out here where they've clear cut, you know, and there's no trees to give them because um, they're all scared of the trees. The trees fall. Oh. Um, but they, a lot of people clear cut them because they're have no fucking sense and um then they're just out here in this open field with uh no trees all that whole new development that's how it is so but this guy he definitely wasn't a new house person i mean he could be in a trailer i don't know but for a tent and <laughs> when it's 107 degrees it's going to be cooler than your damn coffin house that's that's pretty bad you know if you are just so happen to hear this and you are uh having a heat wave as well you know i was telling my grandkids you know just make sure you're drinking tons and tons of water go to bed with your hair wet um you know the more you keep your body like wet like uh you know get your hair wet throughout the day and stuff that will help cool you off especially you know your head it is important to keep it cool you know um but there's real concerns with heat like that. And people really will die. It happens every time. And But the biggest thing is that this is what starts their forest fires up here. And you don't even know how hard we get hit with the forest fires. Like It's like in California. But California gets a lot more attention because, you know, the rich people have to hurry and get all their animals and their mansions were lost. Because, you know, houses in California are a million dollars and... You know, we're just the poor, you know, Washington State. The people over by Seattle, you know, the uh, Microsoft people or whatever, the computer people who own everything. If their houses start burning down, I'm sure they'd be concerned. But they're right on the lake. <laughs> I don't know. They, uh, but those of us out here in the forest are dispensable because they've got to, you know, make some rules and scare some people. Um, I just, speaking of that, I just was watching something about these things, but it, it was an old thing, not about the current ones, about old ones and people saying that it gave their kid autism and stuff. And um, one of the things that it said in there that I thought was, um, <sighs> I thought it was really good. I don't want to say it. Hopefully it'll pop back on my head. <clears throat> but... Anyway, so I want to get back to the weather thing. Oh, because, so they said, because uh, it was about some actress who was fighting about the laws. Oh, Jenna Elfman. Because um, they started saying that you had to do these to your kids. You didn't have a choice. And um, 
So she was fighting about that and trying to make everyone else understand what was going on, you know, because as soon as you feel you're stepped, your rights are stepped on, that's when you start going, wait a minute, I have rights here. And, um, but it's taken a while for some people to feel that they don't have empathy or compassion for other people losing their rights. They just, you know, to them, it's just like, well, you know, why do we need guns? Uh, because, uh, they can control your food. That's why. Um, anyways, so she was saying that the, the big change that happened, of course, the false flag events, always got to be one was, um, Disneyland, of course, had a huge outbreak. All these people went and got measles. Okay, well, if we've gotten these, why would we get measles from somebody? How does that make sense? And if they got them, well, wasn't, weren't they willing to risk that? So, uh, <laughs> it's fake. It's all fake. So that they can control us and change the rules against us. And, of course, Disney's always got to be involved because they are part of the corporate controller's outreach program. And um, not only that, just like what I said with Victoria's Secrets and with um, Disney, they're also uh, a front to get um, certain kind of group of people in contact with certain other kind of group of people. You'll find out. If you don't know about it, you'll find out. And, um, but the whole thing was with this weather thing. I couldn't, this is what just got me yesterday because I already knew, okay, I had already told my kids because they're all in Spokane where it's like, I mean, the temperatures are going to kill people without a doubt. And, um, while I was driving, they already had the alerts up. Oh, heavy team, heavy, uh, high temperatures mean, uh, uh, rampant wildfires, be prepared, shit like that, you know, has the same thing as like when you're in Oregon and you're driving tsunami warning, tsunami warning. It's like, is there a tsunami every fucking week? Like, what is the deal here? And it's the same thing here. It's like, they just want to keep you scared, unbalanced, worried, stressed because of the hormones, because there's energy that feeds off of your stress. You have to get control of your stress. And so, um, so while I'm driving, which was stressful, I'll tell you that. The fucking cars were going crazy. I couldn't believe. And my eyes fuck with me, you know. I really have got to stop driving. It just gets worse and worse. Because um, glaucoma closes in your vision. So things just show up, you know. Like, you don't see them coming. It's just boom. <laughs> it's like scary as fuck. <laughs> and um, they kept on uh, coming. And I mean, the whole drive, you're going like... Uh, you can be going 80 and you got people flying by you. So you're going intense speeds, fucking traffic going everywhere. And the lanes go huge, small, huge, small, like constantly being, uh, going out and then getting crammed back in. So, and then you've got the people who, you know, 85 isn't fast enough. And they, I don't understand how they can come so fast up on you where it looks like they're going to clip you as they're passing. Oh my God. It was intense. So intense. And, um, and then on the way home, so I have the sun blaring, I mean, just direct in my face. It was, it was so horrible. And, um, this is the thing, you know, the, one of the reasons why they just don't like us old people is because guys, the sun used to be yellow when I was a little kid. There was a reason why we colored the sun yellow and you could go outside and you could sit in the sun and it wouldn't burn your skin off. And, um, you know, I mean, we went out in the sun all the time. But, yeah, the sun was um, yellow. And I, I think they want us to forget that. Because when I was driving, there was this thing that was so fucking giant. It was like, if you've ever been outside and seen a harvest full moon, and it, like, takes up half the sky of your whole, you know, I mean, it's this giant, giant thing, right? That's what this was. It's like, whoa, did we just move like way closer to the sun? What's going on? How'd the sun get so fucking huge all of a sudden? I'm telling you, it was so giant. And it was so white. It was like the moon. Only it didn't have all the pretty little gray, you know. Uh, it was just this big, giant, white thing that was like so 
<laughs> glaring. It was like, even when you weren't, you're trying to like keep your eyes on the road and not look at it. It was just like this powerful glare going in your eyes. It was blinding you for the rest of the road. I really was like, fuck, I'm gonna have to pull over. This is horrible. And, and then plus it was so hot. The intensity of the heat coming off of it was crazy. And it was so clear. It was artificial. It was like, what are they doing? Like, are they putting, like, are they doing some kind of thing with the uh, satellites? Are they aiming something? Do they actually have something in front of it? Like, it is like they, um, you know, when you're a little kid and you go out with the microscope thing and use the sun and then you can, um, I don't know. It seems like little kids would go out and like, oh, look, I can burn an ant <laughs> using a microscope or using a, uh, one of those things that you look through magnifying glass. And, um, so that they would be burning things, you know, and, um, that is what it is like they're doing. They're doing some kind of thing. And I noticed that the sun was a different color. Like when I very first started waking up and started looking, I started paying a lot of attention to the sky and, um, <laughs> so many people don't pay any attention it's just so weird how people are so completely um, involved in themselves and just have no awareness of things outside of them and then when you try and bring it up it's just like what are you talking about what are, why do you even look at that stuff it's like why don't you <laughs> what is going on oh so then as the sun is going down because it was like right in my eyes so it was um it was like, when I turned around, it was 8.30, and the sun was right in my eyes, and it stayed for like an hour, and then it, and then I turned kind of, and so it was still going down, but I kind of wasn't facing it, so, God, relief, but um, then it started doing like this bright, bright orange, orange color. I mean, this sunset was like... Uh, something I would see in, when I lived in Southern California. Like the sunsets there were massive color, uh, just huge and they'd last long and stuff. And people would always say, well, that's the good part about the, um, what do they call it? The, um, I think it starts with an S. Uh, the, but it's all the pollution that just sits there in the atmosphere. It just is it, like a, California is um, parts of it in Southern California. It, it's got like a big old shroud of, or blanket or something of pollution that just sits over it. But it made really colorful sunsets and everybody would be like, oh, well, that's the good part. Um, so, but this sunset reminded me of it because I hadn't seen, I mean, I have, I, I don't see a lot of sunsets because I'm in the trees. So, you know, it could have changed a while ago, but <laughs> it was, extraordinary and it was um so bright and so orange and it just went out and took over the whole sky and it stayed like that until uh it was like 10 i betcha it was a long time and i've gone out to uh you know the beach and i sat there and even done those laps record of the sunset and it <laughs> once it goes down it was like a little orange over there where the sun's going down on the horizon. A little orange coming out. But then it just disappears. And then it just kind of turns into other color, kind of colors of gray and stuff. So this was crazy. And it was so clear. Just the size <laughs> of the sun and the color. And then the colors that it was putting out and the heat and stuff clear manipulation of the weather and um but the biggest thing is is it's because they're about to hit us with the forest fires and i told my kids you know you've got to be prepared you got to um probably have a bag ready or something you know have gas in your car and stuff you can get 15 minutes but you can get uh, maybe an hour at the most of evacuation and uh, you know there's just no telling i mean they're out to actually kill us right now so you know they're gonna hit hard and in Spokane, even when the, um, cause there'll be bad forest fires like in Canada or California and in Spokane, it's a valley. So it will fill with the smoke. And, um, uh, there was one summer that the fires were bad in Canada and California. 
I think there was some here, but we supposedly had them under control. I don't know. I think it was uh, when people were catching them that they were starting with the drones. They, people were catching them, starting the fires. It was, um, I think it was two years ago or something. <clears throat> I don't know. That could have been like three or four years ago. It was that one fire where people like really started catching on like, oh my God, that, and people saw the drones shooting out flames. Um, and there was like weird stuff with the fire. I, I can't even remember all the stuff. I've seen lots of video, but it might've been one that was four or five years ago, but it was when people really start being like, okay, this isn't real. This is, they're doing this on purpose. So that's what they're gonna do here. And um, you know, they wanted to hit us hard before and knock a bunch of us out. So yeah, it's coming. And um, it won't surprise me any day this week, especially because they already had the signs going, be prepared. <laughs> There's about to be some big fires, people. We're warning you. Oh, shocking. And, you know, over a hundred degrees for over a week. That's just, but you know, you try and tell anybody who's caught up in the matrix about us. Oh, well, of course. It's climate change. That's why we have such a problem. If we didn't have climate change, we wouldn't have this happening. Oh, God. No, if we didn't have a corrupt government and controllers, and we wouldn't have this happen. So, um, But I want to talk about another thing real quick. So I'm going to end this, and I'll be right back.